finding the perfect fit for their future. Gambino Alcala is one of 14 residents at Norton Correctional Facility to be in the first class of graduates from the solar energy program. It's a big accomplishment on my part because I never would have figured that I would come and get a degree, some kind of a degree, in prison itself. You know, everybody thinks that you could get a degree out there and go to a community college or university, but there's more opportunities here in prison too if you allow yourself to pursue those type of careers. And I'm very grateful that I was able to be a part of this class of 2022. The NCF graduates are officially with the Associate of Applied Science in Sustainable and Renewable Energy program through Colby Community College, a program that started two years ago at NCF designed by Derek Riley, who is arguably the nation's top instructor for solar energy. I would actually step uh, away after 26 years and, and honestly say and look someone in the eye that these are the most dedicated students I have ever had. And with that, the retention rates were off the charts. We've placed other people in the industry. They're doing very well. Um, you know, with the amount of careers out there, good paying jobs, I really think it's the ticket to help uh, uh, prevent recidivism. And so with that, it's, it's just them walking across stage today. Did something for me personally. Um, very proud of them. You see it all over the news, the president, everybody's pushing to go green and reduce our carbon footprint and it's it's hard to wrap your mind around just how big it's gotten out there you know what I mean and how much in demand they are for people that with this skill that they're not they don't have it they got these 10 20 year programs that they don't have the people to to do the work and it's it's exciting it's now really exciting and now they do like you. now they do and it's super exciting What's exciting is that these graduates are ripe pickings for an industry that is expected to overtake wind energy here in Kansas by 2028 in a can't miss program that prepares them for a high wage, high demand industry. It all equals a positive outlook. My biggest thrill is their aha moment, watching them go aha. And every one of them has that aha moment. You know, our, our 14 Associate of Applied Science graduates today. I mean, I can't even begin to tell you what kind of opportunities there are going to be available for them. I kind of understand the process of this program because in the end, it makes you feel good inside as a person. And that's basically how you want to feel getting released from prison that you've changed. Program supporters also say that change doesn't happen without buy-in and support from KDOC and others involved in the process throughout the state, including Governor Laura Kelly, a strong proponent of education. Her congratulatory letter to the graduates was read during the ceremony as she encouraged them, as well as thanking administrators of the college and NCF, for recognizing the value and potential of reimagining correctional facilities as workforce training centers rather than punitive institutions. Education may not have been as accessible to them as it should have been in the community, so that's, that's one role Corrections has to play, is fixing some of those gaps that uh, weren't closed before they got here. Um, so it, it's unfortunate, but yet it's, it's awesome that the Department of Corrections recognizes that and is, has given us so much support in closing that gap now before they go back out. In all, 36 residents at NCF walked across stage. Other graduates included nine getting their GED, seven in telecommunications, and seven receiving their technical certification of completion in wind technology. Congratulations to all and our best wishes for their future.